Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Your hosts are here with our guests, Advo from Evil Guacamole Gaming, and we are continuing Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Yeah! When Karma has had sex two times. No! <laughs> but someone would even do that with him. <laughs> I'm amazed. No, and I can't it. even be mad because it brought us Francisca. <laughs> you know, he would just have to have somebody that that agreed with him that he was perfect in every way. Um, hmm. Someone I'm very different from me, life. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> June twentieth, right in co-law offices. Whew! Feels like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day. Ah, that's right. What's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Ah, here it is. Right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Oh. What, what? I heard, oh, you're so dead. No, so Whoa. tiny. Oh. I don't know who my wife was talking to. I'm suspecting my tiniest cat. I was like, whoa. Okay. Gonna have another case on our hands soon. <laughs> have to defend your wife. Damn. June 20, Fay Manor, side room. Hello again. We seem to be seeing each other, uh, a lot of each other today. Um, well, I'm not really seeing you since my eyes are closed, so... <laughs> Aww, she's like, <laughs> totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No. The idea of Phoenix Wright having a daughter. How old <laughs> do you think I am? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, like, totally don't know him. Blip. Chunk. <laughs> What is that? Oh. You can, you can see, see it. it. Oh, can sorry. You, Mr. Nick? you can see the lock on that person's heart. Uh, what? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see these Cyclops, Mr. Nick. Cyclops, huh? Or is it the Psyche more so Locks? Is it Psyche? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. If it's, it's only, only one, I think you can easily unlock it. I keep trying to read Pearl's mind. <laughs> <laughs> Unlock. But how? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person. And let's remove the lock. Okay. Takes it, smacks her in the head. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> exactly like that. I have a bendy now. 
a what? A bindi. That's that's like the the markings that um you usually see on some Indian people. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, it's it's bruising. I have no idea what she's talking about, but guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful, though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Hmm. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give this Cycloc thing a try. Take that! Pew. Eeny meeny, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? While it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that the possibility existed for now. Hmm, so something that shows possible connection between Eni and Dr. Gray. Here is your proof! Like, what is that? Oh, I think I might have jumped ahead. I think it did. Ugh! I guess it doesn't have anything to do with it, huh? Oof. Pearls did warn me. I am now bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> if you make a mistake, it will hurt you, she said. I did. did. I don't have enough evidence. I should probably stop. I should take another look at the court record. And think it through one more time. It may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Uh, can you present profiles? Wait. Uh, wait, what's the photograph? That's just a map. Oh, okay. You might not it's have the thing we need just yet. Okay. I should investigate and gather more clues before I try again. Cause we should have... I think we should have two newspaper clippings. We probably need to talk to... to Gumshoe. Present the, um... the, uh, clipping. Since he asked about it. Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office uh, the other day, and, uh... Hey, that's the news story. The one about the malpractice suit. <sighs> Fourteen patients died, and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal, this is for you. Uh, alright, thanks. 
Welcome to so good. There we go. Mimi, Mini Neuroside Gray Surgical died after falling asleep at the wheel. Oh yeah, I think he totally knew him indirectly. Here's his proof. Take that. Well, bam! Take that! Take, take a look at this newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is it? A story about an accident. Please read the victim's name. Can you read? Very good. Um, uh, my, my, my knee. <laughs> <laughs> What's a may, may? <laughs> my knee is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Ms. Mimi Miney wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So, you noticed, she was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Are you fucking sorry? You just brought this up and shoved it in my face. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who was lying, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister. Shit's about was to go she, down here. <laughs> was she a nurse? Perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? I mean, that already kind of happened yesterday. <laughs> Gray surgical clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. <sighs> nom, 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 nom. Maybe you do need to tell her. <laughs> I just realized is is his name Turner Gray like is the joke that he turns gray. patients gray by killing them? Ooh. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Never thought about that. Turner Gray. Turner Gray, I, I barely I... know her. Um which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister! <gasps> Anybody have popcorn? Always. I have gummy worms. Ooh, no, I stole those. Ooh. <laughs> and I am dead. <laughs> yeah. You're the one who turned gray. <laughs> Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. And now he asks, this. Yeah. My my sister's name was Mimi Miney. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Man, your sister has intense resting bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> as intense what I... as like Coco's. God, have you seen her? Yeah, and I've seen her I'm like, oh my god, really? <laughs> That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out? So is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard. So, like, that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died from malpractice. Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, 
her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done here? Are you done making me relive all this trauma, you shithead? I've, like, already told you my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psych lock works. Well, I don't plan on plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. <laughs> the lock this time was pretty easy, but... You might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Eni just evaporated. Yep. <laughs> she went back to bed. Okay, relatable. <laughs> I like Bro. don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> good dive, good answer. <laughs> I mean, it could just be the smell around this place, but... <laughs> There's that too. Doing it, 20 Crane Village. Mr. Nick. Hmm? What's wrong? I have never left Crane Village. R really? That's, uh, that's pretty amazing. You're gonna meet with Mystic Maya. Aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Tell my wife hello. Hey, hey wait! She ran off. Again. Well, I know any secret now. But... I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. <sighs> June 20, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? <gasps> that voice! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Mia! <laughs> Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Ah, oh, so Does glad to see really my... Like huh? Does it really look like that? <laughs> Mia, my age-appropriate love interest. <laughs> She's Maya's older sister and my mentor. And she did. <laughs> she did. She did. <laughs> She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. Just say she's dead. Death retirement. <laughs> but whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. I remember. And renovates the place. I remember a while ago, there was a post on Tumblr that was praising Mia, say, as a female character. And then someone came in and was like, no, she's not. She, she's, a, she's a woman in the fridge. And, oh boy, did I knock that down real quick. Because, nah, death, death, death doesn't stop Mia. 
Yes, unstoppable. Phoenix, you can't make... Wait, what? I'm reading Maya's mind again. <laughs> Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. What about this one? <laughs> if you want to make them laugh at your absurdities, go ahead. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. And especially when it's bad. Mia. You can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. But, 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 but. So, tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. I told her everything about what had happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes deep in thought while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. Panic? What is it? Tell me. Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acquittal of your client. You think Maya is not guilty? How can you be so sure? I already asked that to her sister. <laughs> I know she is. And I'll give you a hint as to why. Y yeah? Mediums can't have dreams. Can't have dreams? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah. She said she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A set up? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? That's your job. Honestly, Phoenix, yes. That disembodied <laughs> voice is correct. <laughs> if you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. It, it is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix. You already hold the key. <laughs> Really? It must be the newspaper clipping. Come on, show me the key to this case. That's the key to setting Maya free. That's the key to you having a clue. Key, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'll show it to her. The key I hold. What is it, Phoenix? Show, show the the badge. <laughs> <laughs> Mia. <laughs> wow, this badge brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? But it's not a key. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to stand with you at the defense table one more time when you present the key <laughs> in this case. Mia. All right. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mia, have you seen this key before? 
Uh, the key. <laughs> the key. <laughs> it's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. This key? Phoenix, listen. <laughs> right now, that key is sitting in your hand. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. However, it's it from laughing. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key <laughs> <laughs> this key is. Calm down. <laughs> That is enough. Somebody playtested this and could not figure out the key part and <laughs> was stuck on there for hours. And they were like, all right, we get it. We'll make it clear. <laughs> oh. But, but, but. How can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who who could have? God damn it, Phoenix it was the key! The key's the murderer! <laughs> <laughs> I laughed so hard, I've got hiccups. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> At the time, I didn't know. But this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising, perhaps. And you turn the key. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Gosh, Mia, what? There certainly are a lot of locks. What are the keys to <laughs> opening up what you're hiding? Is what? it the key? What's wrong? <laughs> Right, only I can see the psych locks. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Which means Mia must know something about the real murder. Wait. Mia is the real murder. <laughs> <laughs> Mia is For the key. The... <laughs> <laughs> That's why she knew about the key. <laughs> But for, for this Poor to be something, it. but for some for this to be something that she would hide under the lock and <laughs> key from even me. What in the world is going on? Uh, who are they? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, audience, for for. <laughs> oh God! I was like, oh no. What? The, the emulator had a little bit of, of trouble there. Oh okay. <laughs> Would you say it had a hiccup? Yes, indeed. It had like thirty hiccups in a row. <laughs> June twenty one. That feeling. Nine forty eight a.m. District Court Defendant's Lobby Number One. What? Prosecutor von Karma? You mean? Yes, he did have <laughs> sex. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Who would have done? It's his kid. His kid? <laughs> Manfred von Karma, he was a really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks, also he could win. Y 
you was a man obsessed with the word perfection. You had a perfect record for 40 long years by perfectly cheating. <laughs> Who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each of those guilty verdicts. And now his successor. I wonder what kind of person they will turn out to be. It's no good. I think that's Bill. Yes, more. <laughs> Damn. I think that's Pearl. Oh. Mystic Maya? Pearly! You showed up! Thanks for coming all this way. <coughs> I was really worried about you. Hey, where's your mother? Can you two come together? Mother is watching over the trainees. She said they have training for two days straight with no breaks. Huh? Then... then... you came all by yourself? Yup! I snuck out of the manor and followed a map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. not I ran that's I can't oh my it takes two hours by train oh man apparently what about the train Huh? What's a tray in? I give up. It's time, isn't it? Um. I'm really scared. <clears throat> what if Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edward would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgy Worth? Who is that? Um, his next rival, well, he's sort of a friend. Now we know about Maya's ship. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember him as if you had just seen him only yesterday. Every cry I was a scorching fierce battle to the very end. It was always back and forth with them, but <clears throat> but when your rivals for life the shit even happens. <laughs> Maya, stop praising the previous game. <laughs> Don't ever mention that name ever again. Did you two fight? Huh? But why, Nick? I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. He's... he's gone. And he's not coming back. What? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Court will commence shortly. Please proceed to the courtroom. Alright, let's go. 
Now's not the time to talk about that anyway. Nick? And with that, we will no! leave things off right here. <laughs> you get to see the Von Karma next episode. No, I wanted to see her. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> see I'm you guys sorry. next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Farewell. Baby out of the chair. <laughs> Black the baby. Oh, that was still the funniest thing that Fran's done. <laughs> uh, I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes. You see? Oh my god, Fran. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. Fabio and Sebastian. <laughs> very good names. Please don't slap the baby. We slap, slap the, the baby. baby Many times. <laughs> The tribe collector? That sounds exciting! Right now we are trying to find some shiny leather. Shiny leather? We need it for the mating ritual. Alright, oh, no. let's go! <laughs> Good luck, bye! <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's how I feel about this right now. It's a little too much. Leather? Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Mating ritual. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna hmm. change. <laughs>